I've never had organic foods. Why not? For just a little bit more, why not? See, so, this is the reason why we work out. We work out so that we can eat whatever we want. I can taste the difference in the foods that I buy that are organic and the ones that aren't. Organic foods. Um, buy them all the time at Whole Foods. Not my style, but I'm sure people like them. So organic is the way to go, mainly coffee. I, I purchase them. It's not like the only thing I eat, and I'm not obsessed with only organic foods. I think they're very good. Isn't milk a pretty bad thing nowadays? That's what I've been hearing. We like to assume they're making the foods the way they say. So <laughs> if they are great, if not, well, <laughs> break it on your news show and we'll quit eating. <laughs> better for you. Well, Healthy Living Coach Marion Bell is here to sort it all out. Marion, first of all, I want to know what a Healthy Living Coach is. Well, I actually work with people on their food nutrition, putting better foods in their pantry, eating better, not getting stuck eating chemicalized foods. So I just kind of guide them on that path. And you guide them. You like are the grocery store diva. You can like, <laughs> you can conquer a grocery store like no one else. And you took us to the grocery store. So I let's did. take a look at your little trip to it the grocery fun. store. If we Green is your color. Parsley, spinach, cilantro, arugula, broccoli, and the mixed salad green. When you look at the organic section, some of the prices look kind of pricey. But I'm looking for bargains because everywhere in the store, every week is a special. But you need to be a little picky because you're paying higher prices for things. Take a minute out. Don't come to the store when you're too hurried so that you can get the best food for the money. So many times we're used to having a candy bar or some cookies. And I actually, I know it sounds a little weird, have actually vegetables for a snack in the middle of the day. Juices can be used in various ways to give us nutrition, to act in place of a snack, and to cool us down. It's not always about water. A cup of this a day keeps the doctor away. Did I say that? Now we're going into the meat department and I'm on a special mission here. I really want to get meat that is hormone antibiotic free, free range, Raised without antibiotics, no extra added water. Why are you buying this meat? You know that this meat, you're supposed to eat it as a condiment with at least three cups of vegetables. A lot to learn in the soup department. First of all, as I'm perusing through her, I'm looking for brand names that I know that I can trust and recognize. I can always count on Amy's number one to be an organic product. And number two, this little green and white seal that lets me know that it is organic. When you see Newman's Own and you see Nell and Paul, you always know that it's organic. When you see Paul by itself, it's just a regular candy bar. Listen, I gotta go. Bye. Um, Miriam, you did conquer that. Hey, if we, if we eat organic, do we get to um, find a guy like that with the big arms? I think <laughs> so. I mean, we, were, we grabbed beauty. that guy. He was great. Okay, so why organics? I, I, I mean, you sort of led us through it, but I, I'm a real, I'm in disbelief. I don't eat anything organic. It's yeah, all you told french me fries that. and cookies. Right, we, you told me that. Actually, I'll live longer than you. Oh, I'm sorry to have Whatever. to tell you that. Okay, so really, the reason you want to buy organic is because there's no chemicals, mm -hmm. additives, and preservatives in the food. And when we went to the meat section, there, we really want food without hormones. We mm -hmm. have plenty of hormones in our diet. We don't want any extra antibiotics because that actually weakens our immune system. So when I'm buying organics, I'm doing it to be healthier, mm -hmm. to not have my body work so hard, to keep from being tired in the middle of the day, and knowing that I'm getting a product that's actually better for the environment also. Okay, so it's better for the environment, but it's not better for our bank account. It is expensive. Not necessarily. Did you see those tomatoes in your in your piece? It was one twenty nine or basket. something. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, when we are eating organically, actually the food tastes better. It has the real taste that we remembered food having. When food is produced with a lot of pesticides mm -hmm. and it's been grown on the same piece of land. It's not as nutritious, and it doesn't taste like the food that we grew up with, that I grew up with years ago. And I really want to feel great. I want to eat smarter. I want mm -hmm. to feel better. Um, it's, it's the way to go. Well, then what can we do? If, if I'm a sort of a skeptic and I don't really buy organic and I don't want to spend that much because I'm like eating Fruit Loops, what are the essentials for me? If you're to say like three or four things that I should always get, what would it be? Well, the first thing is all the animal products. I would rather have organic. The mm -hmm. eggs, the fish, the chicken. They're because they're really stuffed with hormones? Is that they what you are. Said? And it's not really good for the system. Mm -hmm. And that's where I would let spend my money first. The second would be on grains mm -hmm. because we need to be eating a better breakfast. We're eating a 
very inferior breakfast. And then the third would actually be the vegetables. Most people think they want to put the money into the vegetables, but vegetables actually go through our system very fast. They clean us out. Oh, so we want to stick to, if we're going to get the bang for our buck, our cereal. We should right. start out with organic cereal. Right, what, have a better breakfast. Is Kashi, that Kashi brand, is Kashi that one? Kashi is good also. That one's not so bad. It has like, a, there's one that has a big, like a lot of protein in it, seven or eight grams of protein in the cereal. I remember well, that cereal one. Well, cereal in itself has some protein. It's All like right. $7. It's, it, it's not $7. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay, Lucky fine. Charms are two forty nine. <laughs> okay, but that's the big one. It's box. an addiction. But you know, everything in the health food stores and the uh, uh, mm -hmm. grocery stores also have specials. So mm -hmm. I look for the specials and I rotate things. So you go with specials, you get coupons, you download them. It doesn't have to be about your the, whole from paycheck. From the internet, where do you go to download the, the organic? For instance, if you went to Cascadian Farms, and uh -huh. inside this box even are coupons on the oh, side. Wow. See, look at that. I wish you guys hear it. I'm going to show you I don't you know this. if you look, can see there that. You coupons. Go. Cut them out and I take them to the grocery store. Who knew? They were on, did you guys know they were on the inside of the box? That's why you need a healthy lifestyle It's because coach. they're not in Fruit Loop boxes. That's what it is. <laughs> or Lucky Charms. Okay, we're going to have right. more coming up because if you don't really want to have uh, do the organic way, well, you know, she knows her way through the grocery store, as you saw. So we're coming back, and uh, Miriam's taking us again down the aisle, but the aisle of the grocery store. And then, of course, this room, it's pathetic. We know. We even found a cat in there, and we're going to make it better? Hmm. Check it out. We sorted out the organic food question with healthy living coach Marion Bell, but if organic still aren't for you, well, she's got some fresh ideas. You take us down the aisle of the grocery store. What do we do in a grocery store that'll make us healthy and save us some money? Well, first of all, you want to look for the specials. In every store, they're going to have big signs. This is for sale. Then what you have to decide, is that the product I want to take home with me? Because I really don't want crummy, crappy food. No, 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 no. No, we don't want that. But you give us a, a, a rundown also in the same grocery store that you found all the organic foods in. You That's take right. us down the aisle in another way. Let's take a look at that. There's a lot of tips you need to know when you come into the grocery store. One is to make sure you have the list and that you don't come to the store hungry. The other thing is you want to come to the grocery store to save money. In every grocery store, there's end caps. They're introducing new products to you at usually specially low prices. But not every end cap is something that you want to buy. I'm actually looking clearly as I walk into the produce section, first of all, what's on sale? But then I want to pull back just a minute and say, is this on my grocery list? Pre-packaged fruit. There's a lot of money that goes down the tube when you buy prepackaged fruit. So try to buy it fresh in bulk so that you save money. I know that there's this aisle that's very tempting in the store, but actually for me, it's one of the aisles that does not tempt me at all because it takes me too long to get this off my legs and your legs too. HEB's brand name. I know without even looking at the prices, this is gonna be the best price. You know, we are getting ready to check out, but one of the things, remember, we talked about was saving money. Do you have your list? Look in your basket and make sure you have everything that you really want. Make sure you're taking home things you need and want to eat and are going to eat. Let's go check out. Things you need, like little Debbie cakes and that you Ooh. want to eat. Okay, quick tips. Just recap for us exactly what we need to do. Well, first of all, don't go to the store hungry. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pointless because I'm really? not hungry. <laughs> okay, fine. Or eat or buy a healthy snack while you're in the store. Okay. Make a list. Shop the store brands. They're always going to be less money. Absolutely. Make sure you double check your list before you go out of the store. Okay. Because we waste a lot of money by, you know, taking a little bit here, taking a little bit there. And if I'm at the cash register and I see there's something that wasn't on my list, mm -hmm. I leave it with them. That is, like, scary. <laughs> Everything would be there for me. Um, you know what? Also, one thing that I read about before this segment is that if you want the store brands, they're on the bottom shelf. So if you're looking all over for the cheapest ones, of course, they put them down low. All right. <laughs> the lower prices are low. Anyway, Miriam right. Bell, thank you so much. You you're guys, welcome. Give her a hand. Yeah. Oh.